Hi John, thank you for this. Um, current form and the championship table will tell us, is this the biggest test of the season so far, clearly? Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt about that because uh, Lee as a team, uh, they've grown as the season gone on, has, has gone on. I think, that, I think they've timed everything right, to tell you the truth. They've evolved as a team, they've, they've just un understand each other's roles and they've just got better as the season's gone on and obviously I think their timing their run exactly right which is obviously for the grand final in their case but we play them with three games left and uh, we realise it's a formidable challenge but we've got to be up for it and we've got to embrace that challenge. One more question on Lee, they look as if they're going full on to the end of the season, they've not made many changes again, uh, so that's the challenge as well, they don't guess what they're going to be, they're going to come at you. Oh yeah, and I didn't expect them to make many changes, I mean, you know, they're playing once a week, it's not like Supley where there's three games in a ridiculously few, few days, it's once a week in, in our competition and uh, whilst ever their players aren't carrying knots, I fully expect them to be running out with a with a full strength team and and they virtually got that so uh, you know we know they're a very good rugby league team they're a team that would probably beat some teams in Super League but uh, they're in the championship at this moment in time and that's what we've got to go to Lee Sports Village and face them. What about the Vikings then you talked about knocks any knocks to any of your players? John? Yeah we, we, I mean again we won't be able to formalise our team until after training tonight which is obviously the Friday before the Sunday uh, we're hopeful to have some players but Adam Lawton won't be back because uh, w with his head injury when he had that collision with Dixon up at Whitehaven there was a, a tooth in his forehead and it's become infected so he won't be available this week we're hoping he'll be available for Halifax uh, we're hoping Shane Grady will be will put his hand up, but again he, he's got to be tested finally here. There's a doubt about Josh Johnson, etc. So we, we, we really are we can't really formulate our team until we've seen what we see out on the practice field this evening. But in general terms, then John, what are you looking for for the last three games then? Well, I, I mean, I ain't even looking past the league game to tell you the truth. I'm just looking at the league game and. Uh, We've just got to show some metal and we've got to stand up to the challenge. And uh, as, as York will testify, it's a fair old challenge, you know, because York are a good rugby league team. And uh, anybody who puts 100 points on another team in a competition, they're playing some good rugby league. And uh, anybody who's seen the tries, they'll see the many and the varied. So it's not saying that you can just, if you close hip happy down, you, you, you stop it. Well, no, because if hip happy doesn't, Pull, pull something out, I say how to pull something out. If he doesn't do it, it's Mellor. If he doesn't do it, it's Lachlan Lamb. So you know full well there's a variety of threats right the way across the field and that's what we've got to encounter. And we are simply focusing upon Sunday. A lifetime in rugby league, John, as a player at the very top of the game, as a coach as well at the very top of the game. A game like this comes in front of you. What are you thinking uh, uh, about it? Is it do, you, do you love this? this yeah, kind of challenge? I, I think these are the best type of games. I really do. Because, in all honesty, you know, the expectation levels aren't that high for us. So, we can go in there like a boxer, we can go there swinging, and uh, you never know, we might just catch him with a knockout punch. And if you do that, you, you enjoy that. But you certainly can't go in there with a, a sense of trepidation and fear. You've got to go in there with a sense of excitement and anticipation and just roll your sleeves up and get stuck in, and that's what we'll endeavour to do. And your CV will tell anybody that you know what you're on about there when you go in with a, yeah, a boxer's we're chance. All, yeah, we're OK. Yeah, yeah, we're, at your yeah, face, yeah, 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 yeah. we're OK as, yeah. as underdogs we are. We're, we're comfortable with that. But uh, And that's what any team will be facing the, this Lee side in this competition. Mm. But Lee against Widnes Sunday afternoon at the Lee Sporting Village is a, a championship, uh, a chance for seeing what championship rugby league is all about it for is, anybody. It is, I agree. And, and I think anybody who goes there will, will enjoy the afternoon and enjoy the occasion. And uh, I'm certain that if they've got black and white favours on, that they'll enjoy our contribution as well to the game. Enjoy the game. Thanks for your time. Thank John. you. Thank you.